My name is Taina Sipiläinen Veikkanen. I come from Finland, from a very small or, well, a small town very near the Russian border. It is called Imatra, and there are maybe 28,000 inhabitants. I am a history teacher, and I also teach social studies as well in an upper secondary school. So my students are from 16 to 19 years old. I like my job very much. I'm quite an active history teacher in Finland. I'm an active member or even former president in my area in our History Teachers Association. I have done quite many projects on human rights, on European Union, etc. Maybe later also on Holocaust. I, I attended the Yad Vashem course in Jerusalem last November and uh, I'm planning a new course on Holocaust in my school and my, my students are very eager and looking forward to that course. I have some mixed feelings, maybe I'm a bit afraid of the task because it's a great challenge because the sadness of this topic. But anyhow, I'm going to do that, give that course, and there were actually 60 students who would like to participate, and uh, those will be divided into two groups, and uh, I will give those courses in December, and the second one in starting in February. Uh, honestly said, we have quite few connections to Holocaust in Finland because we have a very, very small minority of Jews, maybe 2,000 Jews living mainly in our capital Helsinki and uh, it is not part of our local history because there were no Holocaust things happening in Finland and no Jewish refugees coming to Finland. Our Jews participated in the army normally because they were Finnish citizens and they fought in the war, uh, fighting in our Finnish army, which cooperated with Nazis in Lapland, so it's quite complicated, but I think when I will be teaching that Holocaust course in my school, we have uh, uh, a European aspect to that topic, not a local one. And uh, we will concentrate on propaganda, on human rights, of course the facts, what happened, and uh, I'm also interested in what happens after the Holocaust, so I will teach them some lessons about Israel and uh, some Near East crisis things too. I think they need that knowledge. It is general knowledge, European history. Also, somehow, cultural history, multidiversity, and uh, connecting with nowadays contemporary times also about xenophobia. Of course, there have been many other genocides too, for example, in the Soviet Union, and I'm going to tell them something about too.